Anu and welcome back to my channel. As usual, I am coming with another tutorial and as usual, as I say in every beginning, I'm so excited to bring you this tutorial today. I think it is one of the cutest tutorial I've ever created and it is that scarf with an animal biting its tail. I first saw it, I think it was on my uh, trip to Prague, there was a little girl wearing a beautiful knitted um, fox uh, scarf and the fox head was biting the tail of the scarf, it was knitted and I asked her to look at it, I thought it was the neatest idea and I thought I can do that in crochet and I will share it with my crochet family and I know they will appreciate it. Uh, I chose to do it with a reindeer because we are getting closer to the holidays and to Christmas. I thought it would be a super cute Christmas gift to make to an adult or a child. You know, I uh, totally am going to wear that and I am not a child anymore but I act like one sometimes and I'm proud of it. <laughs> so yeah, so I chose the reindeer but you could do it with so many other animals. I can see it with like a unicorn, a cat, a dog. You could do it to the colors of your own dog or cat. Possibilities are endless. The stitches are super easy. I think that the only stitches you need to know are single crochet and a little bit of increasing and decreasing and chain of course but very very easy. The scarf part itself is the easiest and it is beautiful. It is just single crochet. The difference what makes it you know giving that 3D ridges texture is that you only pick up the back of the loop when you do your single crochet and that is it. That is it. So 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 easy. And then the head part, the reindeer, will take you through it one step at a time as usual slowly but surely. If you are not subscribed to my crochet family don't hesitate to do so. It is totally free. Hit the subscribe button. Don't hesitate to click on the little bell so you will be notified every time I post something new you and yes follow me also on Facebook and Instagram I'll put the address somewhere in here the written pattern will be posted probably a week after I post this tutorial in my blog and here is the address to my blog for the written patterns um, yeah that's about it and so without further ado if you are interested in creating this beautiful whimsical <laughs> that I love how am I going to call that? Animal biting scarf tail tail. <laughs> yeah, tell me. Suggest me names for this adorable scarf. But I think it is the most adorable thing. And yes, and also let me know if you want me to make more tutorials with other animals' heads. I will oblige. But that's it. So if you are interested in creating this adorable scarf, then keep on watching. And in the meantime, happy crochet. And see you next time. Bye! For this tutorial you will need four skins of yarn from the brand Barocco in Comfort and the color is 9720. You will need one crochet hook 6 mm for the scarf part and a crochet hook 5.5 mm for your reindeer head. You will also need some red comfort yarn in color 9750, some dark brown for the antlers and that will be color 9741. You will also need a tapestry needle and some scissors and you will need two snap-on eyes for our beautiful reindeer and also some polyfill. And the last thing you will need is a big plastic closing pin. I will put all the information about the material needed in the info box down below. Are you ready? Let's begin! Take your crochet hook and your yarn and make a slip knot. And now you're going to chain. I chained 120 stitches to achieve the length I wanted for my scarf and you can make it shorter or longer. Once you have the amount of chains you want, you are going to single crochet in each and every one of the chains you just made. Thank you. 
when you reach the end of your first row you're going to chain one and turn your work around and then for your second row you're going to only take the back part of your loop and you're going to single crochet all along and this is it for the scarf and it gives it that rich look that I absolutely love it is the easiest scarf you can make and it looks gorgeous and it looks intricate and I absolutely love it and you're going to actually do 48 rows of this back and forth picking up only the back part of your loop here you are at the end of your second row you're going to chain one turn your work around and for the third row you know it you get it you just pick the back side of your loop and make a single crochet in it all along your third row four five six seven eight until the end of your 48th row and at the end of your 48th row this is what your work will look like and you will not fasten off you will just put your scarf aside and now we will work on your cute little reindeer see how cute your scarf look it's stretchy it has some texture to it I absolutely love this stitch and so easy to achieve love it now for the reindeer head, I used a slightly smaller crochet hook because I wanted my stitch to be a little tighter. So I had a 6mm crochet hook for the scarf and for the head I used a 5.5mm crochet hook but of course that is your choice, it's my preference. And you take the same yarn and you're going to make a magic circle. Then you're going to chain one and inside your magic circle you're going to make six single crochets pull on the end tail the end yarn to secure and close the middle of your magic circle you have six stitches and that's your first round we are crocheting in the round for your second round you're going to make two single crochets in each stitch ending at the end of your second round with 12 stitches to know where your round begins and ends it really helps to take a stitch marker and here is my pumpkin pie stitch marker that I absolutely love I will put the link down below for those adorable uh, stitch markers I'm absolutely smitten by them and I can't get enough of them but anyway important to put it at the beginning or at the end of your round so you know where it begins and where it ends and let's continue for the second round two single crochets in each stitch bringing us to 12 single crochets at the end of our second round and here you go take your stitch marker and put it again at the beginning of your round ignore the change of crochet there I was trying with a smaller crochet but I came to the conclusion that the five and a half millimeter was the best I didn't want to just reshoot it 5,000 times so I showed it to you for the purpose of the tutorial with different sizes crochet hook but I would suggest sticking to the five and a half millimeter. All right, so you have 12 single crochet, you're at the end of your second round and you are going to single crochet in the next stitch and then make two single crochets in the next. And again, one single crochet in the next stitch and two single crochet in the next and that is what you're going to do all around your third round ending up with 18 single crochets at the end of your third round all right here you are at the end of your third round take your stitch marker Put it at the beginning of your fourth round. We have 18 single crochets now. And for your fourth round, you're going to make a single crochet in the next two stitches. 
and then in the third stitch you're going to make two single crochet in that same stitch again a single crochet in the next two stitches and then in the third stitch make two single crochet in the same stitch and you're going to do that all around your fourth round bringing you to 24 single crochets at the end of your fourth round and for your fifth round what you are going to do is make a single crochet in the next three stitches and then in the next you're going to make two stitches two single crochet in the next stitch one two three a single crochet in the next three stitches and two single crochet in the next and that is what you're going to do all around your fifth round at the end of your fifth round you will have 30 single crochets in total And for your sixth round you're going to single crochet in the next four stitches and then in the fifth one make two single crochet in that next in that same stitch and that is what you're going to do all around your sixth round at the end of your sixth round you will have 36 single crochets this is what your work will look like for your seventh round you're going to just make one single crochet in each stitch all around At the end of your seventh round you will still have 36 single crochets repeat round seven for round eight nine and ten at the end of your round ten you will still have 36 stitches in total and here we are at the round at the end of round ten let's tackle round eleven now and this is what your work will look like at the end of your round 10 kind of a half a ball <laughs> and for your round 11 we are going to begin to decrease and the way you do it is you're going to make a single crochet in the next four stitches and then you're going to decrease turning the two next stitches into one I'll show you exactly how to do that Pass your crochet hook through the next stitch, yarn over and right back, repeat. So go right to the next stitch, pass your crochet hook, yarn over and back. You have three loops on your crochet hook and you're going to yarn over and go through all the stitch on your crochet hook and you just turn those two stitches into one. And now you're going to repeat making a single crochet in the next four stitches. And then turning the two next one, the two next two stitches into one, just the way I showed you. And that is what you're going to do all around your 11th round. And at the end of your 11th round, you will have 30 stitches in total. Don't forget to keep putting your stitch marker at the beginning or at the end of each round. So you know, you know where they begin and when they end. Very helpful. All right, we're done with our 11th round and let's tackle the 12th round now. Round 12 will be a round of single crochet all around. So at the end of round 12, you will still have 30 single crochet in total. This is what your work will look like. You see we're decreasing and we're trying to give your work the shape of a reindeer head so wider and then narrowing down gently so for your 13th round what you're going to do is a round of decrease and you are going to single crochet in the next three stitches this time and then decrease turning the two next stitches into one And repeat all around 
your 13th round making a single crochet in the next three stitches and then turning the two next one into one all around your 13th round at the end of your 13th round you will have 24 stitches in total at the end of your round 13 Voila, this is what your work will look like and what you're going to do is fasten off and make another one exactly exactly the same so we need two of these because our reindeer will have an upper part of the mouth and a bottom part of the mouth now at the end of your second one you are not going to fasten off so at the end of your round 13 do not fasten off on the second one and you are going to take both of your part the upper and the bottom part of the, the reindeer's head and you're going to place place them right on top of each other folding them in half so each of them have 24 stitches and you're going to work on 12 stitches of the bottom part and 12 stitches of the upper part place them against each other like so so both of your parts together will create kind of like an eight and you're going to assemble 12 stitches together by slip stitching just slip stitching here you go match stitch against stitch just like so i like to take the part of the stitch that is closer to me and that's the front part of the stitch and then the back part of the stitch of the part that is far away from me and do so like so 12 times along 12 stitches and just like that you have assembled the mouse together the upper part and the lower part of your reindeer's head and this is really the 14th round of your work of your reindeer's head Here you go, your 12 stitches are assembled and now you're going to continue to work around the 12 stitches that are left on each side of the part you have assembled and that will be the rest of your 14th row. Take your stitch marker and pl place it right at the beginning of your round, right at the end of the next stitch where you have assembled your 12 stitches together. And this is the way you're going to work around and around outside 12 stitches from one side and the outside 12 stitches from the next side. And you are going to continue like that to single crochet all around and around and around until you reach the end of round 24 leaving the 12 stitches in the middle untouched All right, and you will continue like that, single crocheting all around and around until you reach the end of round 24. You are going to fasten off. And this is what your work will look like. Beautiful. Here is our reindeer appearing. <laughs> Adorable. All right, now we're going to make the antlers. And for that, you're going to take your dark brown color and your crochet hook. And you're going to make a magic circle. chain one and make five single crochets inside your magic circle you are done with the first round we are going to crochet be crocheting in the round for your antlers as well and now you're going to make two single crochets in each and every one of the stitches the five stitches you had made so at the end of your second round you will have 10 stitches in total
place your stitch marker now and for round three till you have the size of the antler that you wish you're going to just single crochet all around and I did it until the end of round 12. And this is what your little antler will look like and at the end of round 12 you are going to fasten off and you are going to make another one exactly like that because we need two antlers right one for each side of your uh, little reindeer's head we are not done with the antler we need two little bumps and that is what you're going to do right now so you are going to uh, make a magic circle chain one and inside the magic circle you are going to single crochet five and for your second round you're going to make two single crochet in each of the stitches so you're going to have 10 single crochets at the end of your second round of that small part of your antler Right, you're done with your second round and for round three and four you're going to single crochet all around And at the end of your fourth round you are going to fasten off and you're going to make a total of four of these and then you're going to put them aside. So you have two big antlers and four small ones. And now we're going to make the little red nose because your reindeer needs a red nose and for that you're going to make a slip knot and you're going to chain one, two, three, four in the second chain from your hook you're going to make a single crochet and in the next we're going to make a half double crochet And in the next you're going to make a single crochet. So we have a single crochet, half a double crochet and a single crochet and in the same space you have made that last single crochet make another one. And right now you're not going to turn you're going to make a single crochet in the first chain on the other side of the chain you just made and another one and that's six stitches in total and then another one that's seven and then the last one is eight and just right now you have a little oval shape and you have eight stitches on it and for that second round we're going to increase and you know by now how to increase put your stitch marker just to know where your round begins and ends and in the next stitch you're going to make two single crochets in that same next stitch right there so you increased by one so you should have nine stitches right now and in the next stitch you're going to make a single crochet and then in the next stitch In the next three stitches you're going to make a single crochet in each stitch then you're going to make a single crochet again in the next stitch and two single crochets in the next stitch you have 10 single crochets in total and 
and you're going to make two single crochets in the next stitch too that makes 11 single crochets in total for that cute little red nose take your stitch marker in the last stitch just make two single crochets again and you have 12 stitches in total What you are going to do next is two rounds of single crochet all around and I will meet you at the end of those two rounds. You still have 12 stitches at the end of those rounds. you will fasten off when you are done and you're done with your cute little nose and now time to create little ears for our reindeer and for that you're going to take that same color yarn and your crochet hook and you're going to make a magic circle chain one and inside your magic circle you're going to make six single crochets And for your second round, you're going to make one single crochet in each of those six stitches. So at the end of your second round, you will have still six single crochets. And for your third round, you're going to have two single crochet in the next stitch, and in the next, and in the next, and in the next, so all around, at the end of your third round, you will have 12 single crochets in total. And for your fourth round, you're going to make one single crochet all around. At the end of your fourth round, you will have 12 single crochets. There you go, that is what your ear will look like at the end of your fourth round. And for your fifth round, you're going to decrease, turning each two stitches into one. And you're going to do that six times. And at the end of that last round, you will have six stitches left and it will be time to fasten off. And that is what your ear will look like and you will make another one to match exactly the same way. Now I'm so in the loose tail at the back of your ear but leave the one at the bottom so you will use it to sew it on your reindeer's head. Time to take your snap-on eyes and place them on top of your reindeer's head. So here we go super easy about I would say three rows down and about three stitches apart you are going to place your eyes just like that and snap them on secure them and they will not move oh my god this is so cute right now it looks more like a hippopotamus <laughs> it will look like a reindeer i promise you adorable and now take your red button nose, take your tapestry needle, take a little bit of your polyfill and you're going to take that polyfill and stuff your nose firmly. Here we go. And you know your nose is going to be placed at the bottom in between your two eyes I'm taking about, I would say, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, about ten rows below the eyes in the middle. Take your tapestry needle and, and then you're going to sew the nose right there. And just like that, it is beginning to look less like a hippopotamus and more like a little reindeer. Here you go, nose is sewn. So cute, oh my goodness. Now you are going to take the two ears and sewing them on each side of your eyes. Right there and right there. <laughs> look how cute. It's a teddy bear hippopotamus with a red nose. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
All right, now take your little reindeer head and you're going to take your scarf and you're going to take one of the narrow part of your scarf, place it in the middle of the back of your reindeer's head and you're going to begin to assemble the side of your scarf to the top of your reindeer's head. And the way you're going to do it, because you have 24 stitches around your reindeer's head and 48 in the side of your scarf, so what you are going to do is uh, take two stitches from your scarf for one stitches of your head. So you see those ridges there, one is elevated and one is kind of a little valley, so you have two little high ridges and then a drop in between. Put your crochet hook through that little valley and through a stitch from your reindeer's head and then in the same stitch from the reindeer's head you're going to take the ridge that is elevated on your scarf and assemble it in that same stitch. So two stitches from your scarf assemble to one stitch of your reindeer's head all around and you're going to go all around your reindeer's head assembling the scarf to the head. And once you reach the middle part of the back of your moose's um, head, right there, and then what you're going to do is go along your scarf for about, I would say, 12 stitches, and you're going to assemble the side of your scarf together, stitch to stitch about 12 of them. Slip stitching through both sides of your scarf together, creating about, I would say, a five inches seam that goes from your reindeer's head to the side of your scarf. Slip stitching along for 12 stitches. Once you have assembled 12 stitches, you're going to take your scissors and fasten off and then you're going to sew in all the loose tails at the back of your work. We are getting there guys, this is so adorable. I think it would make the perfect perfect Christmas gift. And this is what your antler will look like when you are done assembling it with the little parts and you're going to stuff the main part with your polyfill quite firmly and this is where you're going to assemble your antler and you're going to make another one to assemble it to the other side. And now time to place the antlers on each side of the eyes and a little bit behind the ears, just like so, on each side with your tapestry needle. And here you go, now there is no mistaken, it is a reindeer. So cute. And this is what your work will look like. It is so adorable, can't get enough of it. But you know, the reindeer is a little flat. We need to give it some uh, volume and also make the mouth attach, snap onto your scarf. And for that, 
I use my clothing pin. I will put the link down below to where I purchased that size exact closing pin. I like it because it's plastic, it's not metal, so it makes it safer. But we are going to put some polyfill in the mouse as well and that will protect little fingers from getting pinched but you know this is something that cannot be given to little little children because they could really get their little fingers pinched in that to make it a little less sharp what you can do too and what i do sometimes is take a little bit of a pillow filling and take some craft glue and just pad these end of the closing pin to make it softer. This is the glue I use. It's uh, a glues whatever, bonds whatever, craft glue that you can get at your local craft store. Just to make the closing pin a little less harsh to the touch. You don't have to do that, you can omit that step, but I like to do that. Here you go, let it dry. And while it dries, I will show you what to do with the end of your scarf that is not attached to your reindeer head. You're going to take about a 20 inch yarn and your tapestry needle and you're gonna do some basic sewing stitch all along the side that is folded in half. You're working, of course, on the wrong side of your scarf. Here you go. And it gathers it all together and that's what you want for the other, the end, the tail side of your scarf. And you could just leave it like that if you want. So what I do again is assemble the side about 12 stitches together with my tapestry needle. The same way we had done it on the other side next to the reindeer's head. Very simple, basic sewing stitches there for the tail side of your scarf. And then I sew in the tail in the back of my work. And you know that my love for pompon is real. So once I'm done with this, this is what it will look like on the right side of your scarf. You could very well leave it like that. And, but I like to add the extra oomph and my extra oomph is a bright red pompon. So cute. And I'm going to sew it uh, at the tail end of my scarf. And I think that is adding the extra detail. There you go. All right, so <laughs> this is our reindeer's head. As I said, it's flat. So what you're going to do is pass your closing pin inside the mouth with the side that open and close in the mouse part. And once it is the way you want it, in the middle, you are going to also stuff it with the polyfill to create some volume and give it that um, beautiful stuffed animal reindeer look you want. And this is what your work will look like after you stuff it a little, stuff it a little more. And here you go, that reindeer has the urge of biting its own tail. And that is what we just created. We just created a biting tail reindeer scarf. And I absolutely love it. I think it's adorable. What do you think? I hope you love it as much as I loved creating this tutorial for you. I think this scarf would be amazing with all kind of other animals like uh, unicorns and kitties and dogs. Let me know if you would like me to show you how to make another animal biting tail scarf. And that's it. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. I am looking forward to many more. And in the meantime, happy crochet. Mwah. Love you. Bye. Oh my God, I'm really talking fast. I think I'm super hyper. Ooh, I wonder why. I know why. <laughs> it's like my fifth cup of coffee. Ooh. Ha <laughs> ha
<laughs> I'm so jittery. I'm talking like 100 miles a minute and I'm wondering why. Yeah, I know you might want to slow on the coffee. Ah, why do I like coffee so much? Yeah, it is a problem, a real problemo. Un problème, un vrai, vrai problème. Did you hear it crack? I don't like that. Animal scarf tail biting. No, animal, oh my God. Um, tail biting animal scarf. Tail biting animals at TBS. For this TBS. <laughs> Thank you.